Hi dear friends and uh, subscribers of Cricket Happenings, uh, welcome to your cricket show today and well I'm going to be uh, taking you live to the South Africa versus uh, Sri Lanka first one day international today uh, which was played uh, under the captaincy of the new captaincy of A.P. de Villiers the captain, uh, the new captain of South Africa he made his debut today as the captain and well South Africa winning the toss and also he, were, he had the luck with the toss there uh, and he elected to bat and rightly so and South Africa have finished at 301 for 8 of 50 overs in this first one day international of this series against Sri Lanka and uh, well uh, the, I mean right now when I'm talking to you the innings has just been ended South Africa finished with 301 for 8 the feature of uh, today's uh, play was Hashi Mamla uh, going on to get a very very good century uh, it was uh, it was a very good knock from Hamla a very responsible knock if you see the boundaries were only eight fours but uh, the way he played uh, that was the real feature of this innings he made 112 of 128 balls with eight fours uh, Graham Smith was an early victim as he got a good ball now the, the person who did the damage and um, Lasit Malinga uh, really you know made his presence felt in the team by taking a fiver today he had 10 overs no maiden 53 runs and 5 wickets so Graham Smith was the first to go Malinga giving them the breakthrough Sangakra behind the sticks uh, holding to a very very good catch as Graham Smith got a ball which was swinging and also bouncing and Graham Smith followed it and Sangakra did the rest he was gone for 6 of 8 balls and after that Jack Scalish came in and combined into a beautiful partnership uh, with Hashim Amla, the strokes really flowed uh, through either side and the score went on from 9 for 1 to 153. So that was a very good 140 runs odd partnership, uh, which um, 144 runs partnership, which really helped matters for South Africa. And Hashim Amla and Jack Callis was uh, full of confidence when he was playing this. And one of the strokes that stood out was a, was a stroke of the bowling of uh, Lasit Malinga where with the very straightest of the bats uh, he hit Iondro uh, Malinga for a 4 he lofted him over long on for a boundary that was uh, very very well done and Jack Callis that really bore a stamp of class actually uh, so Callis made 72 of 80 balls 6 fours and 1 6 ABD Villiers on his captaincy came in and announced his intentions very clearly that he was not the person at 153 for 2 in the 30th over well you could have definitely expected that but ABD Villiers uh, went on to some real aggression there and he stroked the ball very sweetly and uh, he went on to 52 of 40 deliveries 7 fours in that knock he also gave good support to Hashim Amla in that partnership which took on the score to 244 and um, and uh, and South Africa were doing very very well in fact Albi Markle was promoted uh, in the batting order ahead of uh, uh, Dumini and Favdu Plessy and Albi Markle did his job he came in and thrashed 25 of 17 deliveries 1-4 and 2 sixes and that was the time when the score was looking very good 279 for 4 at that stage uh, one would have expected South Africa and that was in the 46th over uh, one would have uh, probably uh, ex in fact let us look at this 244 for 3 when ABD Villiers departed uh, at the end of 41st over and well one would have not thought that South Africa will be bowled out uh, I mean they, will, they would finish at 301 for 8 it was all thanks to Lasit Malinga coming in uh, and uh, picking up wickets uh, with, um, with great regularity and uh, this helped uh, actually uh, Sri Lanka just in fact Sri Lanka would be very happy for what they have done because uh, South Africa probably would have gone to a score of more than 350 odd but in fact it was uh, the Sri Lankan bowlers who did a good job in the end by actually getting them restricting the Sri Lankan innings uh, so restricting the South African innings to 301 for 8 of 50 overs uh, Amla finally departed for 112 becoming a victim of Malinga of 128 balls with 8 fours and then Dumini made 1, Fab 2 Plessy made 10, uh, the, Robin Peterson was not out on 3, Dale Steen was clean bowled by Malinga for 1 and 301 for 8 on the board uh, for the South Africans in the first one day international and let me tell you this pitch is playing very good, it's a very good pitch to bat so South Africa um, uh, even though they made 301 for 8 uh, won't, uh, they can't be sitting uh, tight uh, I mean they can't be really relaxing because uh, in fact uh, since the pitch is very good 
uh, it would be good to see the Sri Lankan teams uh, really make a fist of this target and I'm sure Sri Lanka will go for it and uh, you know pitch is good and Sri Lanka can definitely play well so we are in for an exciting match here uh, in this first one day international here we are we are going to be having an exciting chase for sure uh, uh, bowling figures Malinga 5 for 53 the best uh, Kulashekara 1 for 50 uh, Fernando was very costly 9 overs none for 65 Angelo Matthews 5 overs for 23 runs Kulashekara 6 overs cost him 36 Lilchan ball 2 overs for 17 8 overs 1 for 54 for Ajanta Mendes so uh, South Africa finishing at 301 for 8 of 50 overs uh, well, unfortunately, dear fans, friends, and subscribers, I wouldn't be able to give you, uh, bring you the South Africa, Sri Lankan chase. Unfortunately, uh, the reason being that you know I, I need to go for my work. As I said, this is a cricket happening show which I'm doing for my passion. So I need to go for my work. So I wouldn't be able to uh, bring you the uh, Sri Lankan uh, chase here. Unfortunately. But uh, you know my cricket happening show always goes on, so I bring I try to bring cricket updates, uh, cricket summary, cricket news, cricket reports, whatever I can. So whatever uh, is in cricket and whatever I can do before I go uh, for go to my office, uh, I just do it. So basically, I do it for my passion. And South Africa, as I said, three hundred and one for eight of fifty overs. It's a very good score. But let me tell you, the chase is going to be interesting. It's a good pitch, and um, so Sri Lankans are definitely. Are going to go for it now I'm going to take you down to a tour match this is uh, uh, now as you know Pakistan have landed uh, in the United Arab Emirates England came home early just to get acclimatized uh, and uh, well Pakistan are here and Pakistan uh, the PCB 11 the Pakistan Cricket Board 11 has done well uh, on the first day of this um, uh, warm-up match played at the ICC Global Cricket Academy against England and England 11 were uh, they made 269 for 9. This is a 3-day match and England have made 269 for 9 declared. And today's feature was Alistair Cook uh, getting on to a century. 133 with 10 boundaries. Um, in fact, um, the Pakistani spinner uh, Yasir Shah playing his first international match uh, did a wonderful job here. In fact, uh, he bowled 26 overs, 1 maidens. One maiden, 76 runs and five wickets. And what was very interesting is he's a right arm leg spinner, and that is something uh, that Pakistan um, selectors would be really looking at because uh, they know that England uh, are not uh, much familiar with the conditions in the United Arab Emirates. And Yasir Shah, the right arm leg spinner, has done himself a great lot of good. Uh, probably even you know uh, tickling the selectors uh, to probably give him a look in in the first Test match, which starts on 17th of January. Yasir Shah, 26 overs, 1 minute, 76 runs and 5 because he took up the... In fact, uh, Mohamed Thala uh, was the one who gave them the breakthrough, taking Andrew Strauss' wicket for 3. Jonathan Trott left for a duck. He was LBW ball, Mohamed Thala, the uh, tall right-arm uh, pace bowler. Uh, Kevin Peterson um, was LBW ball, Yasir, bowled by Yasir Shah for 38 with 5 fours. Yasir Shah had uh, Bell for a duck, LBW. And then he also had Ian Morgan out for 11. So he's picked up some key wickets. And then he also took the wickets of Graham Swan for 24. Uh, Matt Pryor went 46, being a victim of uh, Mama Thala, the red arm medium pacer. And uh, Graham Onions was out for it. So 269 for 9 England finished with. But Yasir Shah was the man of the money. And Mama Thala, the right arm, a uh, tall medium pace bowler, also bowled very well. 15.1 overs, 2 maidens, 42 runs and 4 wickets. In fact, they were the ones who shared 9 wickets among them. And Pakistan cricket board... Uh, I, I, in 8 overs scored 23 for no loss Nasir Jamshid was not out on 12 with 1 phone, uh, one boundary Afak Rahim was not out on 10 with 1 boundary 23 for no loss uh, we had an um, uh, option here as you know Breslin is going to play uh, Graham Onions bowl he bowled 3 overs for 13 2 overs bowled by Tremlett Trusselton in Maidens 1 over for 4 runs from Monty Panesar uh, the, uh, the spinner who is back left arm spinner and Graham Smith the right arm off spinner bowled 2 overs for 6 runs so that uh, brings an end to my uh, cricket report uh, for the day. Uh, but uh, well, keep an eye on this uh, South on this uh, Sri Lankan chase. And I said it's going to be an interesting match uh, unless uh, Sri Lankans are going to play very badly because it's a good pitch. As, uh, definitely, Sri Lankans can be given a chance. It's one day international cricket. It's not Test matches. So one is looking forward to an interesting uh, chase here uh, in this uh, in the evening uh, today at PAL in South Africa. So on this uh, note, I would like to end my cricket happening show for today. I hope you all enjoyed my cricket show. Please continue to watch my cricket show, Cricket Happenings. And I'll be back with you tomorrow uh, with another report. Until then, it's goodbye.